Hello guys, welcome back to TechDoors and in this video we will see the count complete tree nodes problem which is from lead code day 23 of the June challenge. So before seeing the problem statement, let us now see the definition of complete binary tree. So in a complete binary tree, all the levels till the second last level are completely filled. Okay. And the last level may or may not be completely filled. So if not completely filled, then the node should be filled from left to right. And if it is completely filled, then that type of complete binary tree is also known as a perfect binary tree. Okay. So let us look at some examples. In this case, you can see that this first tree is having three levels and all the levels are completely filled with nodes. So this is a complete binary tree and this is also known as a perfect binary tree. Okay. In the second tree, you can see that it is having three levels. All the levels till the second last level are completely filled and in the last level the nodes are filled from left to right. Okay, so this is a complete binary tree. But this is not a perfect binary tree. Because this tree is having just a single child, it should have two children. Okay. In the third tree you can see that there are three levels and the first two levels are completely filled. But in the third level it is not completely filled and the nodes are not filled from left to right. Okay. Because this 5 is the child of 3, but it should be the right child of 2. Otherwise, it will not be a complete binary tree. So, this is not a complete binary tree. In the similar way, this is also not a complete binary tree. Because till the second last level, all the levels are completely filled. But in the last level, the node should be filled from left to right order. So, this 5 should have been the right child of 2 and not the right child of 3. Okay. So, I hope you got the idea about the complete binary tree. So, let us now look at the problem statement. In this problem, we are given a complete binary tree and we are required to count the number of nodes in that tree. So in this case, let us assume that this is our complete binary tree. And so if we count the number of nodes, then it will come out to be 5. So I will be showing you two methods in order to solve this problem. So let us look at the first method. The first method is a very simple one, which is by using in order, pre order or post order traversal. And in this method, we will basically be traversing each and every node of the tree. Therefore, the time complexity will be order of n. I will be providing the code for this method as well. Okay. So is it possible to decrease the time complexity by using the special property of a complete binary tree? So let us now look at the second method. In this second method, we are given a complete binary tree having four levels. Okay. So you can see that all the levels till the second last level are completely filled and the last level are filled from left to right. Okay. So if it would have been a perfect binary tree, then the number of nodes would have been 2 to the power levels minus 1. So let us consider this tree only till level 3. So if you see this tree only till level 3, only this part, then the number of nodes will be nothing but 2 to the power level minus 1, which will be nothing but 2 to the power 3 minus 1, it will come out to be 7. But a complete binary tree is not always a perfect binary tree. So how do we count the number of nodes efficiently? Can we make use of the property of a complete binary tree? in order to improve our algorithm. So let us look at the two cases which are possible with this problem. So in the first case, uh, the complete binary tree will be nothing but a perfect binary tree. That is all the levels will be completely filled. So if all the levels are completely filled, then the number of nodes will be nothing but 2 to the power number of levels minus 1, which will be 15 in this case. So how do we find whether a given complete binary tree is a perfect binary tree or not? So what we will do is we will be starting from the root node and then we will traverse till we reach the left extreme node. So the left extreme node is 8. Okay. And we will also keep counting the depth. So depth in this case will be equals to 4. That is you can also say 3, but I will say 4. Okay. So the right depth will be equals to 4 as well. I will be starting with 1. I will consider that this is depth 1. That is level 1. Then this will be level 4. Okay. So you can see that the left extreme level is 4 and the right extreme level is also 4 and they are equal. So whenever left extreme level and right extreme level are equal, then it will be a perfect binary tree. So we will simply apply the formula. While traversing, we will also find the number of levels. This is 4 in this case. So it will be 2 to the power 4 minus 1, which will be 15. Okay. So this is case 1 and this is a simple case. Now the second case will be, if our complete binary tree is not equals to the perfect binary tree, then how will we solve this problem? So in this case as well, we will be starting with this first node. And then what we will do, we will find the left extreme depth and the right extreme depth. 
so the left depth will be equals to l equals to 5 and the right depth r will be equals to 4 so you can see that l and r are not equal so whenever they are not equal then we are sure that if we consider this current node as our root then it will not form a perfect boundary tree so what will we do we will make two calls one to the left and other to the right so let us assume that we will first process the right call then what will happen now our current node is 3 okay and we will repeat the same process we will make the call till the left extreme node we will make the call till the right extreme node so in this case left will be coming out to be three levels and right will be coming out to be three levels so left and right are same this means that if we consider three as our root then this entire subtree rooted at three will also be a perfect boundary tree and since we know that this is rooted at three and it is a perfect boundary tree so we can find the number of nodes in this subtree by just using the formula 2 to the power number of levels minus 1 which will be equals to 7 okay so as soon as we find 7 we will simply return the value so it will be returning to 1 value equals to 7 now let's say we will process the left call so when we reach to this node 2 we will make the same call so what will we do we will make the left extreme call and the right extreme call so the left extreme will be giving us the value equals to l will be 4 and the right value will be equals to 3 since it has only 3 levels. So what does this indicate? It indicates that this is not a perfect boundary tree if you consider 2 as a root. So what will we do? We will again make the left call and make the right call. So we will assume that we are first processing the right call. So if you assume this 5 as a root and make the left extreme call, make the right extreme call then in this case l will be 2 and r will be equals to 2 so they both are equal therefore if you consider 5 as a root then this entire subtree will be a perfect boundary tree so the number of nodes will be 2 to the power 2 minus 1 which will be equals to 3 so this node 5 will be returning value equals to 3 to this node 2 okay now we will process this node 4 so we will again measure the left extreme depth and the right extreme depth in this case left will be coming out to be 3 right will be coming out to be 3 so they both are equal therefore the number of nodes will be equals to 2 to the power 3 minus 1 which will be 7 since it is a perfect boundary tree rooted at 4 now this node 4 will be returning a value 7 to this node 2 now since this node 2 received both the left and the right call so it will add 1 because this node needs to be included this root needs to be included as well and it will return 7 plus 3 plus 1 which will be 11 now this node 1 received 11 from the left call 7 from the right call it will add its current node which is 1 so it will be 11 plus 7 18 plus 1 19 so the number of nodes will be coming out to be 19 okay so this is the entire method of solving this problem so for solving this problem we will basically be requiring two calls which is the left extreme call and the right extreme call okay and we will just be finding the number of levels while we are making these calls so i hope you understood this method this diagram looks messy so i will show you a fresh diagram so what will be the time complexity in this case well if we assume a perfect boundary tree then this will be having maximum number of leaf nodes so let us assume that our boundary tree is having total nodes as 2n plus 1 and internal nodes equals n and the leaf nodes equals n plus 1 this is true for a perfect boundary tree okay so the number of levels will be equals to log of total number of nodes which is 2n plus 1 base 2 okay so this is the number of levels in this case it is equals to 4 now what will be the number of nodes at the last level that is equals to n plus 1 which is nothing but the leaf nodes okay so what was our process what were we doing actually we were making call from this root node so when we were at this root node then we were making two calls one call was to the left extreme depth and another call was to the right extreme depth and then we were checking if the left value is equals to the right depth value so what was the time complexity for that actually for checking both the depths the time complexity will be 2 into log of 2n plus 1 base 2 okay so this will be the time complexity for checking the depth once now when we are comparing it and if they are not equal then what were we doing we were making two calls one to the left hand side and another one to the right hand side 
now again we were repeating the same process so again what were we doing we were making the left extreme call we were making the right extreme call and for this as well left extreme call and right extreme call so how many times these calls will be made actually you can see that if you see this root 3 then this is a perfect binary tree so as soon as you find that left is equals to right then you will simply calculate the number of nodes and you will return from here without checking further child nodes okay so this will be very efficient in terms of time so the first thing to keep in mind is there are log n number of levels and at the last level you are having n plus one number of nodes okay so what we were doing we are actually dividing the number of nodes into two parts and then we are searching in both these parts okay but you might argue that this will get repeated again and again but the property of this complete binary tree of filling the nodes from left to right will not let this sub problems to get divided again and again okay so one of these two parts will get returned soon therefore what we are doing is actually we are dividing a problem into two parts and then we are searching in both these parts but one part will be returned soon either this right one or this left one so let us assume that this right one is returned then we will again be dividing this problem into two sub problems okay which is exactly in between and then we will be searching in both these parts and one of them will soon be returned again so you can see that this is very similar to the divide and conquer method which we are using in binary search so the time complexity will approximately be the same as binary search and since we have n plus one number of nodes therefore log n plus one base two will be the number of times we will be making these calls that is we will be making these divisions now how many times do we make this binary search we will be making it number of levels number of times okay so what will be the total time complexity it will be number of levels multiplied by how many times we do this binary search so the total time complexity will be order of log 2n plus 1 base 2 into log n plus 1 and this can be approximated to time complexity of log n into log n okay so this is the entire problem let us now look at the code so this is the code for the algorithm which I explained here we will be pass the root and then as soon as we are at the root we will find the left extreme depth and we will find the right extreme depth and then we will compare if the left depth is equals to right depth if they both are same then the current root node is forming a perfect binary tree therefore in that case we will return 2 to the power left levels minus 1 otherwise if this is not true then we will search in both the calls that is a left child call and the right child call and then whatever value is returned from the left call let's say it's x whatever value is returned from the right call let's say it's y we will add x plus y plus the current node which will be 1 because the current node will also be contributing to count equals to 1 and we will be returning this value to its parent node so this is the entire process so this is basically a recursive call here you can see that count nodes is again being called on the left child count node is again being called on the right child so this is the algorithm which i had explained and this is order of log n log n time and i have also written the code for the first method this is just a one liner okay so i hope you are able to understand it if you have any other approach or solution in different languages then please share below so that everyone can take benefit from it like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming video see you in our next video thank you